alive. Okay, so the question is uh, how to prevent somebody from getting to your back when you start from the knees and you're going for a takedown. The answer is friends don't let friends do knee judo. So if we're here, when I don't, like this is one of the silliest things ever. Do not do knee judo. Don't go for takedowns from the knees because like it's never gonna happen in a real match in like a real situation. So instead, <laughs> what's up, booties? I like those boots. <laughs> okay, so we're here. We grips. Instead of doing this, especially if my partner stands up. Like I am fine, yeah, I want to be here. So if my partner starts standing up, like you know, we go to your knees, go to your knees. So you're on your knees, you touch hands, and you stand up. I'm just gonna give, like you know, give up the top position and just like be fine, playing guard instead of doing jujitsu. Instead of working my hardest to get a, a takedown from a bad position here. So as soon as my partner stands up, I'm just gonna fall and play here. Because if I stay here and I start trying to grab a lapel, that's when this stuff happens and I get my back taken. Meanwhile, it's a lot harder. I have a lot more tools, but I'm sitting on my butt and I can start playing. And then remember, like, you know, if it's an option, I don't know what the gym rules are, just standing up is also fine. So let's go. What, like, the, since we're talking about the back situation, how do I get your back taken? If I'm playing sit up and Hillary starts walking around me, I have to follow her. I have to follow her. I gotta make sure I'm getting grips, either sleeves, pant, uh, sleeves in a pant. I gotta make sure I don't extend too much, get a flying arm bar, flying triangle, whatever. I stay in a good situation here. That would be my long winded solution with uh, lots of interruptions.